Shingles is a painful rash that is usually shaped like a band. It can affect people of all ages and is most common in those older than 50. Another name for shingles is herpes zoster. Shingles is caused by a virus called varicella zoster virus, the same virus that causes chicken pox. After someone has chicken pox, the virus sometimes hides out asleep in the body. Years later, it can wake up and cause shingles. The first time a person is infected with that virus, he or she gets chicken pox, not shingles. Is shingles contagious? In a way, yes. It is not possible to catch shingles from someone who has the rash, but if you have never had chicken pox or gotten the chicken pox vaccine, it is possible to catch the virus and then get sick with chicken pox. You probably will not catch the virus or get chicken pox if you had chicken pox or shingles in the past, if you've had the chicken pox vaccine, or if you were born in the United States before 1980, as most people born before 1980 have had chicken pox even if they don't remember it. It is possible to get chicken pox from just being near someone with shingles. What are the symptoms of shingles? At first, you might feel itching, burning, pain, or tingling. Some people get a fever, feel sick, or get a headache. Within one to two days, a rash with blisters appears. Blisters most often appear in a band across the chest or back. Within three to four days, blisters can become open sores or ulcers. Within seven to ten days, the rash should scab over and start to heal. About 1 out of 10 people with shingles will get something called post-herpetic neuralgia. This pain can last for months or even years. Complications of shingles can occur in anyone but are more likely in older adults and in people with a weakened immune system. Shingles can also cause skin infections. The source of shingles can become infected with bacteria and delay healing. Eye problems can happen if the rash is near the eye and this is an emergency as this can cause blindness if not treated emergently. Ear problems can occur if the rash is near the ear. Symptoms include weakness of the facial muscles on the affected side, ear pain, and blisters inside the ear canal. In rare cases, shingles can cause serious problems with the brain or nerves, but this is very uncommon. If you have a rash that you think might be shingles, call your doctor or nurse right away. If you have had the rash for less than 3 days, your doctor will prescribe a medicine to help you get rid of the virus. These are called antivirals. They can speed your recovery and reduce the chances that you will have shingles-related problems such as post neuralgia. Antiviral medicine might help if new blisters are still appearing or if your immune system is weaker than normal. How should I take care of the rash? Keep the parts of your skin that have a rash clean and dry. Do not use creams or gels unless your doctor or nurse says you should. People can reduce their chances of getting shingles by getting the shingles vaccine. The vaccine can also make the symptoms of shingles milder if they do occur. If you have shingles, you may wonder when it is safe to return to work. The answer depends on where you work and where your rash is located. If the rash is on your face, do not return to work until the rash has crusted over, which generally takes 7 to 10 days. If the rash is in an area that you can cover, like with a gauze bandage or clothing, you may return to work once you feel well. If you work in a healthcare facility, like a hospital, a medical office, or a nursing home, consult your health provider about when it is safe to return to work. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. Be healthy.